We are recording. Hi, this is Dina and welcome to Empowered Conversations with Dina. And I am very excited about my guest today, Mary McGovern. And we are talking about how to get our skin summer ready. So first I wanna show you how I typically will get summer ready. So, and I think Mary's gonna join me, right? So we got our glasses. So this is my typical summer ready. We got our glasses on. And I literally just bought my sun hat this weekend. So I'm super stoked to put it on. So this is my summer ready. Love. But um, Mary is here to teach us how to kick it up a notch for really having our skin being summer ready. So I am going to take off my glasses so I can see you in my hat. But so Mary. First, I want to introduce you and for you to just tell us a little bit about your story of how you went from nurse to entrepreneur. So I'll just say Mary is also the founder of Skin Health Plus, which is what we're going to be talking about today, some ways to kick it up a notch to really get our our skin summer ready. But can you tell us a little bit about you, how you came up with this and how you went from nurse to entrepreneur? Okay, so yes, I've been a nurse for 38 years or more. And uh, during that time, skin, as all nurses know, skin is like the primary, we assess it every day, every day with every patient, first thing we do almost. Mm. Um, and during that time, later on, when I was um, uh, working at a, um, I worked at a plastic surgeon's office doing their lasers for um, skin hair removal and, and sunspots and all that. I was noticing that a lot of people and women in particular, that's usually who came in, really didn't understand um, a lot about what they needed to do to protect their skin, help their skin. And then even later on, my own mother was using um, products that were actually damaging her frail, really older skin. And um, it was during that time that I realized I needed to um, start a company. So my husband um, had asked me to work on something at his a medical, he does a medical education. And he asked me um, to come in for a skin um, uh section they were doing and bring it down to a nurse's level. And I thought I knew a lot about skin, but the experts taught me even more. And that's when it all solidified that I need to do this. It sounds like it just like an opportunity presented itself, your history, your experience, and it all just melded together so beautifully it did. to create this company. So tell us about this company and how, how was it for you to step into being an entrepreneur? It was scary. Well, I did it a little backwards. It was kind of, it was exciting. The journey has been nothing but a beautiful journey. Learning mm -hmm. that uh, the business part has been probably the most difficult part. And of course, the science and the, um, all that and teaching people it to me is the most exciting part. So um, the business is the most difficult part, but it has been a journey and it's been a lot of fun. Awesome. Yeah. So tell us um, a bit about Skin Health Plus. Okay. So Skin Health Plus, as I was on this journey, I realized that um, I'm pretty much, uh, as we age, um, as we get about 50, 40 and 50, our, our skin changes all the time, of course, but things really drastically change when you get in your fifties and beyond. Our estrogen goes down, especially for women, a lot of changes occur. And I realized that most women and my sisters, my friends and, and all um, were unaware of those changes using products that maybe they were using when they were in their 40s, 30s and earlier, and they hadn't uh, changed and they didn't know why. So I realized it was time to um, address those issues for women over 50. I was just going to say, and I believe that your target audience is women over 50 and really wanting to be someone who can influence those women to make some changes in their lives and to see why those changes are important. True, true. And, uh, and some of the things that I'm going to talk about today are for everybody, mm -hmm. because like I, we all hear an ounce of prevention it was, is worth a pound of cure. Um, and so a lot of, um, especially the sunscreen that we're going to talk about, mm -hmm. that's 
all inclusive that's worldwide you know okay great yeah. so everything that you're going to talk about today is great for any age um to some degree yes yeah and i'll specify you know as we, okay. age, we get more dehydrated of course okay awesome and i think also with this it is um I always like to share this because when you say your age, everyone goes, no way. <laughs> could no you, way. <laughs> yes. Could you, do you feel comfortable sharing? Oh, sure. Sure. Your age. And, and I think a huge piece is your products and how you care for your skin. Well, thank you. Um, yes, I'm 61. And I'm going to say that in my 30s is when I realized I must have read an article in Cosmopolitan. I don't know, back then, you know, they had these like big, you know, no one reads magazines as much as they used to. But, you know, I was on a on a vacation and I re read this magazine how if you don't wear your sunscreen, you're going to get fine lines and wrinkles. And I thought, oh, God, I don't, you know, I had this image of, you know, me older. And I thought, yeah. well, I don't want to do that, that I'm going to start staying out of the sun. I'm going to start wearing sunscreen. And I pretty much did. But let me tell you, the history before that was all the bad stuff, you know, baby oil, yeah. you know, back in the 60s, they didn't even have really sunscreen for us as children. Yeah. Really. And, and yeah. I know for myself, you know, in those teen years, it was the tanning beds. Yeah. You know, yeah. like you tan before the prom, you tan before you went on vacation, you tan before summer, like you didn't want to be stark white, you know? For, right. for me, who, um, you know, has light, fair skin. So absolutely, I think we, you know, certainly have made choices because we believed that they, you know, held really great purpose without always knowing the potential problems. Correct. Correct. So. And there are potential problems. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So yes, now it's about our hat and our sunglasses, but let's kind of kick it up a notch with the first product that we, you know, we're going to focus on and talk about today. All right. So the first product or just in general is mm -hmm. sunscreen. So mm -hmm. I don't know you ladies, if you know, um, even what broad spectrum means. Raise your Not hand particularly. You okay. So sunscreen so and it's a it's a, a consumer education is important with sunscreen with all sunscreen mm -hmm. for all people so um broad spectrum means it covers both uva and uvb um ultraviolet and that's there's three ultraviolet rays that you need to know all the details but there's two that are going to affect our skin and the reason you want to protect your skin is because of course you can get squamous and basal cell carcinoma and you can also get all the things that go along with aging such as fine lines wrinkles brown spots all the things we don't want dehydration all that so broad spectrum is FDA regulated. So if a sunscreen says broad spectrum on it, it means the FDA has actually um, tested that product to its claims, you know, so FDA approved. So okay. if you buy a sunscreen and it doesn't say broad spectrum, there's no FDA involved. So it can say anything and you don't really know if it's doing its purpose or not. Oh, okay. So that's, yes, Gina. I have a question. So I did not know that about broad spectrum. Does it typically say that like on the outside label or is it something we need to read with our glasses on the, under the ingredients? Good question. It should typically, cause they spend a lot of money to get that broad spectrum. It should be right out there. Okay. Right out there. Cause it's, it's like an organic slap, right? <laughs> yes. It's, a, it's an honor to be broad spectrum. Okay. Good to know. And what broad spectrum means it covers both um, UVA and UVB. UVA means all those things that happen for aging of the skin. So those UVA rays, not that they both don't do a little cross link, but mostly the UVA rays cause the aging and the UVB rays cause the burning. Um, oh. Now with the burning, um, you really, what that's going to do long-term, not only, you know, be uncomfortable, but time and time again, that's what's mm -hmm. going to cause you to have the squamous, the basal, the melanomas, and maybe other keratotic things that you don't want. Mm, and then the yeah. aging is the A. And so that's the first piece of broad spectrum. And then there's the SPF factor, which we all hear. And how many of you 
or you two ladies think SPF factor means that if you put it on, because I used to think this too, that that would give you 15 times more time in the sun or 30 more hours in the sun or, you know, like it was time related. Did any of you think that when you- I, I know it's not now, <laughs> but when I was younger, it was like a one-time apply and you're good for the day. Right. Same. <laughs> yes. And um, actually what happens is dermatologists recommend an SPF of 30 or above because it's not after 30, it's not any more incremental, it's minimal. So a SPF 30 blocks out 97% of those bad rays. Um, but the, um, and then a hundred, there's no such thing as a hundred. Mm -hmm. You can't get a hundred um, unless you're in the house and by no sun. Mm -hmm. um, and it, that all varies. So the bottom line is that you should be always applying your sunscreen, um, especially, so, okay. So then we have two types of sunscreen. You have um, uh, physical sunscreen and chemical sunscreen. So physical sunscreens are like titanium dioxide, and um, zinc oxide and then chemical sunscreen. There's a whole array of them and they work differently. The physical sunscreens literally block out the sun rays and you know it doesn't get to your skin. They try to block it out as much as possible. The chemical sunscreens, um, they absorb the sun rays and then they disperse it so it doesn't harm your skin. So those are two other components in sunscreen that um, break it down even further. But the are there are there sunscreens that have both components or is it one or the other? No, there's sunscreens that have both okay. or just one. And okay. uh, I know there's a lot of, um, you know, we could go on and on. This could be a topic forever, like what's safe, what's not safe. But the bottom mm. line is if they're FDA approved, I know a lot of people, you know, I don't want to fight with anyone on any of this, but um, I feel if the FDA approves something that I feel it's probably safe. And the one thing that um, I know they're afraid of this one benzo benzene or something, and you get more benzene or whatever it breaks down into in grapes like to eat grapes, but I'm not, all I can say is that long-term, you're probably a lot more um, uh, at risk to get a squamous or basal or melanoma by not wearing sunscreen. And you've created a sunscreen. I have. So I've created um, your best friend forever because no one wants to leave <laughs> home without their sunscreen sunscreen, whether it's sunny out or cloudy out, you want to um, protect your skin. And it's very important when you put sunscreen on to put it on 20 minutes before you go out to let it absorb so that you can get the maximum protection. Just an FYI. And yeah. I always hear women and well, mostly women because Mary, Mary, I just have to say that's a great tip. I definitely yeah. until I started using your product because now I put it on in the morning, my uh, my BFF. Um, I used to just put it on as soon as I got to the beach. Right. Yeah, and you need to yeah. especially you need to let it absorb so that it has its time. The other thing you want to remember for your whole body sunscreen, you know, is that um, it's time and when you're out. So obviously we've all heard that, you know, the, the times between 11 and two are the most damaging. So during those times, you want to apply your sunscreen more frequently than in the in the evening, or if you've obviously gone swimming or sweating or whatever. So yes, yeah, so we have our best friend forever. And not only does it have the broad spectrum SPF 30, it also has, um, it's a day cream as well. So it has moisturizers and um, lots of lovely um, extracts that help uh, keep your skin um, healthy and, and um, hydrated along with the SPF. So is this a sunscreen meant for your whole body? Well, it could or be just your face. This one is meant for your face. Okay. Um, it's, um, you could, I put it on my decollete as well because I know it's got all the good stuff in it, mm -hmm. but um, it also has ingredients that are a little more cost prohibitive to put in a whole body sunscreen. Okay. So, um, this is uh, for the face. And can I you show us the bottle? Oh, sure. There's Excellent. The so we can it has see a it. Nice little pump that's airless. So no oxid. It won't get oxidized once you, and it's out. So it has a titanium dioxide in it. So I want to tell you when you first, and Gina knows this, when you first put it on, you're like, ah, 
it's got that white hue like the ghost thing but let it sit for a few minutes before you apply your next products and it will absorb right in and it, and it feels great not like your normal sunscreen Nice. And you know, it's protecting your beautiful skin cells all, you know, mm -hmm. for at least a couple hours until you need to reapply if you're actually directly in the sun. And is that kind of the average time is reapplying every couple of hours if well, you're in the sun? You know, it's interesting. Great question, Gina. So um, it, it, there's so many factors that go into that, but they say um, they meaning the um, the cancer prevent skin cancer it's related to what what time of day you're in the sun so if you're in the sun at the that those peak hours peak hours you're gonna i re, if i know i'm gonna go for a walk on the beach or something i reapply before i go on that walk because i'm sitting under the umbrella the whole i'm one of those people yeah but just remember, yes, at least every two hours. And if it's mm -hmm. if you've gone swimming, if you're sweating a lot, or you just know your if your little reminder is ticking you, you should do it again. Yep. Because um, and we forget. I mean, I forget too. I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta reapply, I gotta reapply. Because two hours when we're having fun goes by quick, right? It, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. So you have a second product that you would like to share. I do. So when you're um so this um, summertime, we forget that we can, you know, in the winter, we know we're getting dry because the heat is on and, you know, we're wearing these sweaters and it just, I don't know, the heat just like sucks all the moisture out of the air, right? Um, but in the summertime, our skin can get dry too. We perspire more. We mm -hmm. um, are in air conditioning and we're in and out of the elements and the sun and the wind can really um, pull the moisture from our skin as well. So, um, I don't know if, um, I know as we age too, our skin just naturally becomes thinner and we dehydrate um, much easier. I don't know if you've ever noticed when you look at a beautiful chubby, cute little baby or a little toddler and they're just so plump and beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get to be my age and you look at your hands and you're like, ah! But what part of that is, is we lose um, some of the protective layers, like the, uh, um, the, the, uh, the thin fatty layer under our skin and our skin becomes thinner. Mm. So we're going to release our moisture much easier. So um, yes, I have this advanced hydration um, hyaluronic face cream. And um, this is Thank one you. of the products we have here. And uh, hyaluronic acid is a really cool molecule. What it does, is it attracts moisture from the environment and it pulls the moisture in. And this little molecule can hold a thousand times its weight in water. That's wow. Amazing, you know? So what I usually do, this is a little tip for you guys. So first I put my, oh yes. And here's the other thing. When you're applying your skincare products, always, Gina knows this because I've talked to her about it. You start from, no matter what you're using, you mm -hmm. start from thin to thick after you wash your face. So you start from your thinnest product and work your way mm -hmm. to your thickest product, such as your creams or night stuff. But if it's during the day, of course, you're going to put your sunscreen on last. And the reason you always put your sunscreen on last, whether it's thin or thick, is because like we just talked about, it's going to block everything. So it's going to right. block effective ingredients in your skincare products. So you don't want to put your sunscreen on first and then apply all this expensive product. Guess what? It's not going to absorb like you want it to. So you would actually put sunscreen on maybe over makeup. Say if you're going out for an outdoor event and you don't want to go without makeup on, but you also want to protect yourself. How do you manage that? Okay, so well, our makeup, I mean, I know makeup nowadays does have beautiful nutrients in it and things that are good for your skin. But for your makeup, I always suggest put because you want your makeup to look good, right? Yeah, you put your yeah. sunscreen on first. Okay, and then your makeup. Okay, That's how I do it. Because I Otherwise, you're going to screw up all your makeup, you know? Yeah, I was wondering, how do we do that? <laughs> yeah, after you've contoured, you apply this. Up. No, no, no. But as far as your skincare um, products, I, you go from thin to thick and then sunscreen. Okay. And okay. then after the sunscreen, go ahead and apply all your beautiful um, makeup. Awesome. And then there's one more product that yeah. we were going to um, highlight and talk about today. Yeah, so um, this last product is called the best of everything vitamin C um, um, 
serum antioxidants. So vitamin C is an amazing antioxidant. And I know antioxidants, you know, people are like, what are those? And uh, I learned about them in chemistry, but bottom line is think rust or think of a rug. Have you ever had a rug on your floor and then you finally get rid of that rug or you actually vacuum underneath the rug? I do that sometimes. And you lift up the rug and on your wood floor, there's two different colors, right? Okay. And yeah. that's from the oxid oxidization of um, the wood. Yeah. Um, the same thing happens to our skin over time with the elements such as the sun, um, mm. pollution, all sorts of things, uh, just the wind, everything. Um, causes oxidization in our skin mm. as well. So vitamin C and other other wonderful skincare ingredients prevent that oxygenation by, um, it's all chemistry, but the bottom line is it's, um, they're antioxidants. And so um, we have a product here that's a 20% vitamin C and they found that to be the most effective um, concentration. After that, it can be very caustic to people's skin and below that it's not as effective. So when you buy a, whether it's mine or someone else's, a vitamin C product, you want to make sure it has 20% in it. Okay. Um, now ours has some other wonderful antioxidants and humectants and things that will keep your skin moisturized. The other thing with um, a vitamin C um, is it has to be in a, a dark bottle um, because you don't want it to oxidize from the air. So once you open it, you need to um, use it. And that's true with all products in skincare. If you're not using them and you're saving them for special occasions, you're never going to get any um, good benefits from your, your skincare. You have mm -hmm. to use it consistently and with just, all, just like anything, it has to be consistent or you don't see results. But mm -hmm. the 20% vitamin C, um, Best Friend Forever has, um, I'll show you what it looks like. It looks very thin and uh, it, it has really no, no real smell to it. And you just use a little and you just tap, tap, tap all over your face. And then you, this is the first, in my line, this is the first product you use. And then you okay. thicker stuff. So this is the thinnest one. So you would use that one first. Yes. And this, and I let this sit for a few minutes to absorb, and then I go onward. And um, this is going to protect you against all those elements out in the sun and also correct some of the things that are going on on your skin cells right now. It does have healing properties as well. So um, um, that's why I call it the best friend, the best of everything, because it has all the best ingredients in it. It really does. I, I love this. Um, I'm going to have to try that, Mary. Yeah, well, I'll just send you some. I just love this. Like, I wouldn't leave home without these. If I had to take two things, and I'm honest about this, I would take mm -hmm. this, and I would take obviously take my sunscreen everywhere. If I was on, I love house. that. I love that product. And like you said, when you first put it on, it's a little white. But because you warned me about that, I didn't freak out. And um, I am 100% Portuguese, and I this is why I'm this dark, and I live on the beach. But I use your product every day, and I wear my hat. I have my sunglasses. I'm under an umbrella, and I still look like this. So I am using all of the products. <laughs> You're a good girl. So if I were to be stranded on a, a desert island and I could only pick two, I'd pick these two. And then lastly, I would bring my silk pillowcase with me because I wouldn't be able to sleep without like that either. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yes, yeah, so, so most importantly, um, for all you uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen yeah. that may, may be listening, is that you really want to be aware of how often, I think in the summertime, you really want to be ready for the sun. And that means mm -hmm. you're, and it's so much fun that we can wear a hat and be individual. Yep, so course. we'll put on our, our hats again. And our glasses, but you also kind of want to we all want to be the same in that we're aware that yes. we need to wear sun protection every time yes. we step outside right very cool yes and then we don't I have to it. fix bad things later on in life <laughs> right because I sometimes find myself getting a little bit too red and that bothers me so it is important so that's one of the reasons why I'm like, I needed to get a hat. Not only the fact that they're like super cute. Yeah, the hats are really cute. And just and a glasses. little um, for you, <laughs> uh, 
interesting is that you can, um, there are, um, along with umbrellas, there's sun um, protection clothes you can wear. Yes. 50. And yeah. I wear them religiously at the beach, religiously. I look like I'm ready Very for cool. a hat explosion or something with my white I look like I'm ready to go in and take care of some chemical spill but I don't care <laughs> no I love that you know some companies are coming out with you know colorful and decorative ones and long sleeves and all of that because I find like that is definitely like my shoulders like that's the area where I could get burned the most so it's you know so awesome to make sure that we're using the best products and the right products especially for someone my age. So I'm 47. So, you know, I'm entering that phase, but I mean, you know, stuff is already happening. So it's just important to, you know, to highlight you, what you bring, what you've created and what you bring and the knowledge behind it and why it is so important for all of us. It is. It is so important because as you all know, and you've heard this many times, so we didn't used to hear this, our skin is our first line of defense. And that is very mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. And um, as we age, and I know um, from working with patients for years, some of the first demise of, of a patient is they get a bed sore or mm. oh, yeah. it doesn't heal, heal. And that's Part of that, you can have resilient skin if you take care of it when you're young. A mm -hmm. lot, you know, a lot of it is what we're doing um, in our younger years that creates the thin, paper thin skin. And it's not always, but many times that is definitely just from, you know, I don't want to say neglect, but not knowing. Mm -hmm. not knowing. Right. I think people are trying are believing that they're making the right choices. You know, I'm always seeing parents again at the beach putting the sunscreen on their children with the aerosol can and it's flying everywhere. So you don't even know if it's really hitting the skin very well. And, and they're, you know, certainly not having that 20 minute time to let it kind of soak in. For me, I tend to do it before just because I don't want all the sand on my hands with the lotion. So that's why I tend to do it before, but now I'm seeing the benefit to that is because I'm giving myself time right. for it to ap ac actually absorb so it'll work properly. And the one other thing um, for you ladies to know is that you want to keep your sunscreen when it's at the beach, either in your cooler or somewhere dark so that it's not getting oh. heated up and to break down. That's I'm another great down. tip. Yeah. Not that you're, you know, but it, 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 plus it feels so good if you've had it in the cooler and you're kind of hot and then you put it yes. on your, ooh, <laughs> it's a side note there because it awesome. will break down. Well, Mary, thank you so much for all these amazing tips and from sharing, you know, all of your experience to creating these beautiful, wonderful, helpful products. And can you please just put in the chat where someone could reach out to you, um, whether it's your website or whatever, are you able to do that? Yes. Awesome. So that'll be there. Awesome. Yeah, well, and thanks, Gina, for having yes, me. It's absolutely. Been it's been a pleasure. And Gina, thank you so much for joining us today. Great. I learned a lot. The last, oh, the last couple of tips about applying before you at, you go to the beach and keep it in your cooler. I had no idea, Mary. Yeah, I, I didn't know. I didn't know either. So well, I'm glad I'm glad I got <laughs> you some helpful tips because I want you to be glowing and have a beautiful <laughs> summer without getting burned. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you, ladies. And certainly now we are all going to make sure we are summer, like our skin is summer ready. Correct. So thank, thank you. you. Bye. 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 Bye.